So now we'll go on to what is not an archaeological photograph. I'll be showing you many examples of archaeological photography later on in the lecture, but first of all, it might be worth seeing what is not considered important or what is not considered archaeological evidence. And this is kind of changing now. Uh, a, mass, a undergraduate student named Luke Snell, who graduated in 2020, looked at this as part of his undergraduate dissertation about the personal archive of photographs that are taken that are not necessarily tied to a specific context or artifact, but are more tied to the experience. So keep that in mind while you're looking through this. What is not an archaeological photograph? And I should say this is a content warning for this lecture and for the rest of the lectures during this session. There are uh, photographs of human remains and spiders. So I like to use this example as trying to understand what is or is not an archaeological photograph. So, for example, this photograph comes from the Origins of Doha and Qatar project. This is part of our building survey of historic buildings that were about to be torn down. This is not a perfect archaeological photograph. As you see, there is a lot of garbage down there at the bottom, and much of the building did not actually uh, get captured during this particular in this photograph. But it is considered, in a way, archaeological as it has that important epistemic marker, the scale rod in it, and you can see the relationships between the different elements of the building, and you can see almost the full extent of the elevation as well. Ah, so this is our spider warning. This was on another excavation that I was on in Dibon, in rural Jordan where we had quite a few camel spiders and many of the insects became part of daily life and so I threw this archaeological scale down and recorded the fauna. Is this an archaeological photograph? It records the state of the archaeology, of the, of the experience of doing the archaeology, but perhaps not necessarily commenting on the archaeology itself. This is another photograph from the Origins of Doha project, and this is another part of our gorilla building recording exercise. And you can see the scale marker there in the background hiding, but you also see a lot of other noise. You see trucks and motorcycles and people and bicycles, and this is certainly not taken uh, straight on. And so. It is not a great archaeological photograph, but it does record the current state of the building and was the best we could do at the time. Also, people can be used as scales in uh, archaeological recordings, but you generally want to ask their permission. This is a pot of coffee that is being cooked on the top of a tell in Diban in Jordan. Coffee in this way is seen as a gesture of hospitality and the fact that I was asked to stay behind from the rest of the team and partake in this ritual meant that I had come to some accord with our workmen who were working on the site and were local to the site. Um, and these two men are represented by the two sticks that you see sticking into the photograph. These workmen, um, their religious beliefs excluded them from wanting to be be photographed, and this wasn't necessarily a consideration for many people who are taking photographs throughout the history of archaeology. They were not asking permission of people before they took their photograph, and so they asked to be excluded, but are also included by the gestures of their sticks um, in tending the fire. And this was very much a example of the atmosphere of archaeology on the site and the local contributions to the archaeology. This photograph actually was then um, displayed in the town hall and now there's a copy of it hanging in the mayor's office. This photograph is from Sweden of megaliths by Michael Shanks in 1988. You should have read his selection which really queries what archaeological photography is, the genres of archaeological photography, and what it is meant to depict within archaeology. So he has this critique of photography, and he uses montage and disunity with text to throw into question the use of photography. He also suggests using photographs for ethnographies of the profession, which I had just described. 
So since the 1990s, these ideas have been developed and explored by many archaeologists. And people have gone on to work, do more photo works, what he termed, and do more experimentation within archaeological photography.